Hi, this is Lisa Somerville with Divinity Designs. We're so glad that you could join us for our wonderful women's event. In this video, I'm going to share a tutorial with you on how to create a card using our vintage flip labels fold with layers die set. When assembled, this card measures four and a quarter by five and a half and fits into an A2 envelope. The vintage flip label fold with layers die set contains nine dies. You have the base die for the flip fold, layering dies for the front and back, the center layering dies for the top and the bottom, along with four vintage label layers. You'll die cut these dies following the directions for your die cutting machine. Be sure to emboss the layering dies as that brings out the detail of the dies. Anytime you see two shades of purple on the packaging or the web images, that does indicate that you should emboss your dies for best results. Here's another look at a completed card using the vintage flip label fold with layers die set. You'll want to be sure to decorate both sides of the die cut panels. Now let me show you just how easy it is to create a card using this die set along with additional Divinity Designs products. I've already die cut and embossed the pieces I'm going to need to create my card. I die cut the base from 110 pound white card stock and die cut and embossed the layering dies using the Pretty Pink Peonies collection. The stamps I'm using are from the Greatest Gift Stamp Die Duo Anytime you see black and purple on our packaging, that does indicate a stamp die duo. Purple on our packaging always indicates dies. If you're not familiar with our stamp die duos, you'll simply stamp the image on cardstock or pattern paper, center the die over the stamped image, add removable tape to hold that die in place, then die cut following the directions for your die cutting machine. After removing the cardstock or pattern paper from the die, you'll end up with a nice die cut image. As I mentioned, the vintage flip label fold with layers die set does contain vintage labels that you can use on the flip fold portion of this die cut. I'm also going to be using the double pierced vintage labels die for added detail and layering on top of the labels. The pink layer is cut with the largest label die from the Vintage Flip Label Fold with Layers die set. The white layer is layer number two from this die set. And my stamped panel is from the Double Pierced Vintage Labels die set. When die cutting and embossing your pattern paper, you're going to want to make sure that if you're using a printed paper, that your pattern is facing in the correct direction. On the base die cut panel, we're going to be working with a shorter side on my left hand side. Then using your favorite adhesive, adhere the layering panels to both sides of the die cut panel as shown here. After the die cut and embossed layering panels are adhered to the front side, you'll flip that over and then adhere those embossed layering panels to the back side. Now you can adhere the die cut and embossed center layers to the top and the bottom on the front and the back of the die cut panel. Those are the pink layers that you see here. And I've adhered the pink layers using Barely Art Craft Glue. Again, the die cut and embossed layering panels get adhered to both sides of the base card. Now you're all set to add the die cut embossed and decorated vintage labels to the base card. I want this to be on the front of the flip fold, so I'm going to turn my panel over and adhere it to the back side. Turn that over and adhere your other label. Now we're going to fold on the score lines. With the shortest side towards me, the top and the bottom, is going to be a mountain fold and then valley fold. Mm -hmm. 
And now I can complete this card by adding the die cut butterflies. And here's a closer look at the card and the products used on my vintage flip label fold with layers cards. This card uses the vintage flip label fold with layers, double pierced vintage labels, the greatest gift stamp die duo, along with the pretty pink peonies paper pad collection. This card uses the vintage flip label fold with layers die set, our misused stamp set, and the stoneware paper pad collection. And my last card. This card uses the following die sets. Vintage flip label fold with layers, double pierced vintage labels, bitty blossoms, and pretty peonies. The stamp set, daughter's best friend, and the paper pad collection, Beautiful Blooms. Now Kelly Holland will be sharing with you some inspiration using the Vintage Flip Label Fold with Layers die set. Thank you so much, Lisa, for that wonderful demo. Now I have some samples to show you of the products that Lisa showed you. This first set is for the Vintage Label Flip Fold card. Here's a copy. Holds to a verse. This beautiful owl. I'll always love you. This beautiful Christmas verse with our Christmas papers. Here's a wonderful graduation card. For more inspiration, visit our samples gallery. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Pinterest and Instagram. Mm -hmm.